Oh, hey, what's up, bros? I didn't see you there for a minute. How are you doing today? It's a nice Saturday, isn't it? I should be at Vespers, but I couldn't get a ride. So what to do, what to do. I did a little bit of a live stream, but, you know, we can't do our whole life on live stream. Uh, YouTube, for some reason, likes when we post videos, so... Here I am painting up some red boys for Age of Darkness. That's right. Some red boys for the Age of Darkness. Uh, which red boys? Well, the ones that follow the angel. Those red boys. I've, I've got no time for book nerds or uh, whatever the word bearers are doing. So... And uh, I don't think that the world eaters are wearing red yet. I think I think most of them are still wearing the white and blue. So, so yeah. Blood angels. Why blood angels, some of you might ask. The answer is really simple. Uh, Sanguinius is the badasses, most kick-ass Primarch of all the Primarchs. No other Primarch is anywhere near him when it comes to just being pure badass. And uh, so why wouldn't you play Blood Angels more than it's like somebody might say, why would you play Blood Angels? My question is, why wouldn't you? Of course, I'm glad everybody doesn't because then it'd be boring, you know, for me to constantly be having to go up against fellow blood angels. Of course, in my mind, I would say that they were blood angels that had been corrupted. And, uh, you know, we're the true loyal blood angels. We laugh in the face of chaos and giant spiders well, we can handle it all. That's that's kind of what's going on with us. That's right. So, these guys are pretty easy to do. I'm not really doing a whole lot in the, the way of uh, advanced painting techniques. I'm re really just very basic stuff here. And the reason is because I want to get this army done. And uh, right now I've got 10, 20, 30. Right now I have 40 guys painted. Uh, but that's not enough. You know, I've got two tax squads. I've got a tactical support squad, but I'm not even sure, you know, how I feel about it. Like, do I want to use it or not? kind of situation and uh i've got my mark five assault guys i mean they're cool and all but can't put them in a rhino so that's an issue because if i could have my way i'd have everything mounted in a rhino to that end i've bought five rhinos but anyway so this is kind of the paint scheme. The Mark IVs are easier to paint because I just leave their backpacks mostly red. And they and you don't have to do the trim on the shoulders. These Mark Threes. This is a tax squad, and I'll show you. I decided to give these bad boys some chain bayonets so that they can uh uh, be extra anti-heretical, you know? Like if you're playing a trader marine and you see this bad boy coming, I want you to know that you made a mistake with your life. Right? Whatever Slanash or corn or whoever promised you, it wasn't enough for what's getting ready to happen to you. And uh, 
that's basically what he's saying over here. You know, like these guys get so mad they scare corn. All right. They're like, oh, damn. And Blood Angels is pissed. Man, the world eaters. What are they all about anyway? Corn fanatics, you know, charge forward. Hope to get within hand-to-hand -to -hand combat with somebody. Do some wounds. Maybe. Summon Angron. It's so like, I can see that getting boring really quick. Probably after about two games, it'll be like, yep, here's the thing. Here goes me charging. Here goes me doing the same exact thing. Nah. My red boys, they are ready for everything. They can charge. They can dig in. Set these set these bad boys on top of an objective and just dare somebody to come and try and root them out. Be like, look, I'm over here with my apothecary. We're hanging out. And uh, if you think you're getting us off this objective, you're having some misconceptions there, son. It's not happening. So there you go. Yeah, I paint the crown around the top red uh, metal. I'm not sure if that's even a thing, but oh, see, I got out of spot there, but that's okay because a little bit of red paint will neaten that right up. He'll be good to go. He will be good to go. So. Yeah, here we go. The hot, the slightest amount of highlighting on the backpack. All right. So, so that's uh seven done. Three to go. Then when they're completely dried, they'll get their bases done. I do the uh, the old school where you paint the base with glue and then dip it into a box full of uh, model railroad grass and small rocks and whatnot. And just see, uh, you know, see what happens. You know, it's like every base is a happy accident, basically. And then sometimes, if I'm feeling really frisky, I might uh, put some tufts on, add a couple extra decorations or something, you know. If I'm like, if I'm really, I mean, the thing is, I wouldn't say that this is a channel you should watch to learn how to paint. I would say this is a channel to watch me fumble my way through 3,000 points of Blood Angels for Horus Heresy. If that interests you at all, you know. Then... That's about it. That's that's what I'm doing, you know. I could well I can't say hello, welcome to Goober Hobbies because somebody already took that. And every time I hear it, it makes me think of the Civil War. Like, why would you think of the Civil War every time you hear Goober Town Hobbies? Well, because during the Civil War, the Confederate soldiers ate a lot of peanuts. 
and they called them goober peas. And uh, they were even a Confederate marching song about eating goober's peas. And uh, it's just, I don't know, one of those weird things you pick up being like a junior historian or whatever, you know. Plus, my first war game ever was Johnny Reb. That's where I, I cut my teeth playing Johnny Reb with uh, a couple of history teachers <laughs> that, uh, you know, worked at a local middle school. And then, uh, then we moved on to like battle tech and stuff like that. But, and then I introduced them to 40k. And it was over after that, of course. That was back in like '96. So probably still Rogue Trader days. And, uh, yeah. Those are some good guys. One of them recently passed, and you know that's a shame. But it happens to all of us, you know. Think about it. One of these days, you're gonna go on YouTube, assuming you outlive me, and you're gonna look at videos of me talking shit or whatever I'm doing. Except I'll be dead. And the video will be just all that's left. You know? Maybe maybe some of you will do that every now and then. And Now, don't get it twisted. I'm not planning on dying anytime soon. I'm still a relatively young man. I'm just saying it's going to happen. And when it does, maybe some of you guys will check out the videos still. Maybe make a little comment, you know. Not anything bad, you know. I know some of you, Justin, be on here doing, doing getting buck wild with it. But, you know. That would be kind of like, until YouTube dies, a sort of uh, immortality, you know. It's like, the year is 24 whatever. Who was the coolest war gamer of all time? Google, show me the coolest war gamer of all time. And then, you know, it goes through... This whole whatchamadu, and then the next thing you know, you see my face. And Google was like, this is DM James. He was the coolest war gamer of all time. Universal, universally loved by all those who followed him and watched his shows. A man of supreme wit and somewhat deprecating humor whose hobbies include painting overpriced plastic toys and reading H.P. Lovecraft novels. And you'll be like, well, there you go. Anyway, so that's what I am doing. I got one more to do, guys. You want to? Yeah, I think, I think we'll keep the video going while I do the last guy. It seems, it seems like almost like it would be illegal you know for me to be like well i've got one more guy to do but i'm gonna cut the video off anyway and as i've said you know i paint these guys they're pretty rough and ready you know i mean i get the colors when after i neaten them up and everything the colors are where they all need to be and everything and and, and they're okay but no, I don't use 23 highlights and edge highlighting and any of that because uh, for me, these are game playing pieces. 
while I'm not going to uh, say anything bad about people who do that stuff, I mean, it's super impressive. And I watch, I watch a lot of shows of people painting, you know. Uh, however, it's just not my priority. You know, you'll see somebody spend just hours on one figure. And that's just not, I, I just couldn't do that. You know, I, I want to spend a couple hours maybe on a squad. A 10-man, you know, something simple like a 10-man tax squad where there's not a lot of, you know, a whole lot of anything to worry about with them. That's, you know, what I like. But anyway, let's do his crown. Some people do the face plates too in metal. Which I haven't done, but I've seen people do it. And for Blood Angels, some people paint their whole heads gold. Not sure what that's about either, but... You know, I'm sure there's some part in the lore that talks about it. Alright. So there he is. He's uh, completely done. There are some places I'm going to have to go back and neaten these guys up, you know, where I went outside of the lines or whatever. But otherwise, I'm pretty happy with them. So once they get a, uh, a wash and their bases, they will be ready to uh, murder the treasonous scum that would dare uh, affiliate with chaos and turn against the Holy Emperor. Okay, so that said, peace and love, guys. Party on.